If you own a dog, you know that a dog's love is purely unconditional. But you also know about the muddy paw prints, you know about the hair, and the endless upkeep of what it takes to keep your home clean with a pet. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel and I am a dog mom of two. I own two golden retrievers. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 tips for keeping your house clean when you own a dog from a fellow dog mom. First thing we have on the list is a vacuum. We know that if you have a dog that sheds, there's going to be a a lot of hair. So I personally vacuum every single day to try to keep up with the hair or you can invest in an automatic vacuum as well. But it is important here to note that you need to buy a quality vacuum. Speaking of vacuums, do not forget about the furniture, especially if your dogs are alone on the furniture like mine. I cannot imagine not snuggling my dog on the couch. But don't forget about the furniture. They hold a lot of hair. They hold a lot of odor. Make sure that you are vacuuming off your couches, make sure that you're deodorizing your couches frequently. I have a nice attachment on my vacuum that I can use to clean out the couches and I try to keep up with those at least every other week. Next we have lint rollers. We have lint rollers literally everywhere. We have them in their closet, we have them at the stairs when you go in and out of the house, I have them in my car, I have them in my room at work. You know that even if you put your clothes on when you are leaving the house, when the dogs aren't around, you're still going to have dog hair somehow on your clothes. Always have lint rollers handy. Next we have brushing. Brushing your dog. This might sound obvious but brushing your dog every single day or at least a few times a week is going to make a huge difference in how much hair they have shedding around the house. On top of this, breaking some type of de-shedding tool is super helpful, especially if they have a thick undercoat if they're double-coated dogs like my golden retrievers. It makes a huge difference. The next thing you can do is buy hair-resistant clothes. That way you are avoiding some of these issues in the first place. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Halara. Halara is an athleisure brand that I'm sure you've seen blow up all over TikTok. Halara is huge right now. And one of the reasons why they're really big right now is because they have hair resistant leggings. Halara offers high quality, affordable athleisure wear with a variety of different tops, bottoms, sweatshirts, swimwear, outerwear, dresses, etc. And it's friendly for all sizes, regardless of what your style Style is. There's lots of styles to choose from, lots of colors to choose from. I'm a leggings girl. I've been a leggings girl for years. I never ever wear jeans, but the one thing that really stinks about being a dog mom and loving leggings is that I wear a lot of black. Black shows the most amount of dog hair, which is not a good mix because I'm constantly having to lint roll myself, as I mentioned earlier in this video. But with the Solara leggings, I literally can just wipe my hand on the leggings and the hair comes right off. This not only can save me time and money from having to buy lint rollers, but it also looks a lot nicer when I'm going into stores and I don't look like I just rolled around in my dog's dog hair. So this is one of the tops that I got. I love this color. I think it's very flattering. And there's padding in the bra, which I always love. I always look for because I am a a lot smaller on the top than I am on the bottom so I will take any little bit of help that I can get. But the material is mostly polyester which is why it has more of like the spandexy buttery type of feel to it. And then in the back there's just a little crisscross pattern here. I really 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 like the fit of this. This is a size medium. And this is one of the bottoms that I got. Of course I got black because you know that I love black and this has the crisscross pattern. So you can see that it's kind of like double layered here and I really really love that style I think this looks very flattering in the v-shape also for someone with my body type who always has the pooch I feel like it kind of takes away from the pooch a little bit another nice perk of these is the pockets on the side This pair of leggings is tight all the way down to the ankles. This is the second bra that I got This is definitely not as tight. It's a lot less fitted, but it's the same size again It is padding which you know that I love. This band doesn't go quite as far down as the other one did, which I actually kind of like. But here is the side profile of this and what it looks like from the back. So again, they have this little V-shaped crossover look, which I love. The only thing I don't like about these ones is that they don't have the pockets on the side like the other ones do, but they do have that same soft feel. And at the bottom, they have a flare to them, which if you know me, 
is typically more of my style. So overall for sizing, I would say that I could have definitely gone with a small for this top. This is a little big on me. The coral one was perfect as a medium. For both of these bottoms, I got a size extra large. I definitely could have sized down to a large. I did gain 30 pounds of grief weight in the last year and a half, and I'm only down 10 pounds of my original 30 that I gained in the middle of kind of your weight loss journey. Sizing can be difficult, and I'm sure that there's a lot of you out there that can relate to that. But enough talking about the outfits and that they're pet hair resistant. Let's put them to the test. So I just brought the girls upstairs with me. I'm going to get them super excited, have them rub against the leggings, and I'll see how easy it actually is to just wipe the hair right off. Come here! Come here! Oh, there's a coke in here! So we got a little bit of hair on here. And now I'm gonna try to see if I can just wipe it off. Look at that, it's all piling up right there. I mean, I would say that works pretty good for a dog mom who always has hair all over her. To be able to just wipe it off like this instead of constantly worrying about a lint roller 24 seven. This is actually really nice. A little after and a little before. Don't forget about the paws. Their paws are their feet, right? Well, when you go out to the store and you go other places, you're wearing shoes. Your feet are protected. When you come home, you take your shoes off, you go into the house. Well, for dogs, that's it. All they have is their feet. So we have a little area set up just for cleaning off their paws. We have a runner on the carpet that they know they have to sit on when they come inside. We have a towel that we wipe off if they're not super muddy, or we have paw cleaners to use if they are muddy. And that way you can prevent tracking it around the house. Speaking of keeping their paws clean, make sure that your dog is getting bathed. Obviously you don't wanna bathe your dog every week or every day, but going to a groomer, getting them bathed once a month, every other month, depending on how active your dog is and what type of things they get into is going to be very very helpful. My goldens go to the groomer every eight weeks and they love it. Cleaning supplies. You may think that even if you don't have a puppy and your puppy is an adult and they're potty trained that they're never gonna have an accident. Well, that's not always the case. Sometimes they have an accident, sometimes they get sick, they throw up, you never know. It's nice to have cleaning tools on hand just in case an accident does happen. Drippy trails. When dogs are drinking out of their bowls, the water just continues to drip out of their mouth even when they're walking away from the bowl. One thing that helps with this is getting a silicone mat around your bowls. That way you can keep in at least some of the water so that it is more so in one spot versus all over the floor. Think of all the frequently used items that your dog may be touching such as blankets, pillows, bedding. Do they sleep with you? Make sure that you are washing those things frequently. Our Goldens do sleep with us so I wash our bedding at least once a month and I try to wash our blankies that are on the couches that the girls sit on every single week. So you tell me what tips do you have to keep your home clean while owning a dog of your own. I would love to hear any of your suggestions and tips down in the comment section. If you decide to try out Halara, I will leave a discounted link down below, so make sure you check out the description box for that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. I do post new videos every single Sunday, and I hope to see you right back here next Sunday for another video. Bye guys!